Welcome and thank you for your interest in this public consultation session. This presentation will provide stakeholders an overview of the additional stormwater management assessment completed as part of the City of Windsor's Sandwich South Master Servicing Plan. This virtual presentation will outline the purpose of this consultation session, remind stakeholders of the objectives of this servicing plan, explain the prescribed changes to the servicing plan as it relates to the expanded scope area, provide an overview of completed stormwater assessments, solution alternatives, and preliminary preferred servicing strategy, review impacts and mitigation measures needing to be incorporated into the planned servicing strategy, and outline how stakeholders can provide feedback and comment and highlight next steps. This consultation session will present additional stormwater assessments completed as part of the Sandwich South Master Servicing Plan, SMP. Assessments relate to additional stormwater servicing required to serve the first phases of development and the required Lausanne Parkway improvements. The City is planning commencing the Lausanne Parkway and County Road 42, CR 42, intersection improvements by 2025 with tendering of that project scheduled for 2024. Proposed road improvements require the implementation of stormwater management infrastructure for the control and treatment of runoff. The cross-section shown on the right side of the screen shows a typical road cross-section of Lausanne Parkway, which is proposed to be improved to a four-lane urban roadway. The objective of the SNP is to establish a coordinated and sustainable approach to providing services. The plan is developing and reviewing solutions for the collector roads network, water, sanitary, and storm sewers, and stormwater management facilities. The SNP will meet the requirements of phase one and two of the municipal class environmental assessment process, which is an approved process under the Environmental Assessment Act. Upon completion of this study, the City will be in a position to proceed with implementation of Schedule B projects, which include the stormwater management facilities and pump stations within the assessed areas, including the East Pelton and County Road 42 secondary plan areas. The stormwater management facilities required to serve the new Lozon Parkway intersection have been added to this assessment. This facility would be needed to support one of the first phases of development, which is projected to occur along County Road 42. The Sandwich South Master Servicing Plan commenced in 2019 and last provided an update to the public during Public Information Center No. 2, held on September 8, 2021. During that information center, the project team provided a project overview and update servicing solutions for stormwater management, sanitary and storm sewer servicing, and the transportation network, comparative alternative solution evaluations and preliminary preferred solutions, and mitigation measures recommended to address anticipated impacts. In addition to PIC2, the project team held more than 20 individual developer and property owner meetings, consulted with First Nations, completed Stage 1 archaeological studies, which have been accepted by the Ontario Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries, continued coordination with Essex Region Conservation Authority, IRCA, surrounding municipalities and the Windsor International Airport, and completed the functional design, cost estimates and preliminary staging plan. The next part of this presentation will provide more details on the stormwater management additional assessment and preferred servicing solutions. The City is embarking on completing the improvements proposed for the intersection of the proposed Lausanne Parkway and County Road 42. This work will support the County Road 42 improvements being undertaken by the County of Essex to the east and to support transportation needs for the first phases of the Sandwich South Area development in the County Road 42 and East Pelton Secondary Plan areas. 
The first phase of road improvements includes the realignment of Lozon Parkway between Service Road B and County Road 42. Urbanization of County Road 42 between the Little River Drain and the East City Limits and trunk storm sewers to provide road drainage and connection to the stormwater management structures. The completed assessment also includes consideration for the developable lands within the existing airport plans. The future development area, as detailed in the airport master plan dated 2010, shows future employment land uses. Under ultimate conditions, these areas will require stormwater management to control increased runoff expected from those land uses. Similar to other parts of the Sandwich South area, it has been identified that stormwater management is required to control additional runoff for roadway expansion and developable land to meet the regional stormwater management guidelines. Under ultimate conditions, there is an opportunity to provide stormwater management for proposed roads and development areas through regional stormwater management facilities to control both water quality and quantity of runoff. Throughout this study, stormwater management solutions were evaluated that would provide both quantity and quality control of future runoff. A summary of that assessment was provided in PIC number two. The use of wet stormwater management ponds was determined to be preferred through the previously completed comparative evaluation assessments. Wet ponds will have permanent pools that provide quality control of stormwater runoff and active storage areas that store rainwater temporarily. To service the first phase of the Lozon Parkway and the development areas along County Road 42, two stormwater management servicing options were evaluated. Under both options, the required ponds will serve the roadway extension to accommodate future proposed development within the lands north of County Road 42. Option A assumes that only areas north of County Road 42 will be incorporated into the north facility. There is also opportunity to utilize this open space to provide service for the widening of County Road 42 and developable areas south of County Road 42 as well. Option B would permit reducing the stormwater management pond south of County Road 42 and assist in the staging of development along County Road 42. Under both solutions, land for the proposed natural environment corridor and active transportation pathway will still need to be accommodated. A detailed summary of the options and evaluation can be found on the sandwichsouth.ca website. Both options were compared to a do-nothing option, which assumes no stormwater facilities will be put into place to support improvements to the area. Option B was determined to be the preliminary preferred option. This option is preferred because the combined drainage areas would reduce direct impact to developable private property lands. Stormwater management facilities can be expanded within designated open space lands. The solution will meet all stormwater management regional requirements. This facility will provide an outlet for proposed Lozone Parkway improvements and the first phases of development along County Road 42. It can be incorporated into naturalization of designed open space areas. And similar to option A, the facility must be designed in accordance with applicable Transport Canada requirements and consist of features to mitigate waterfowl habitat as required by the airport. Under option B, four sub-options were reviewed as it relates to the configuration of the proposed stormwater management facility. These include option B, which is a wet pond with one linear pond similar to the facilities that are proposed elsewhere in the Sandwich South area. Option B2, which is a wet pond with two interconnected twin ponds that better utilize the open space design lands. Option B3, which is a dry pond with underground quality control, consisting of an oil and grit separator and quality chamber system units. 
and option B4, which is underground quality and quantity control consisting of an oil and grit separator and an underground storage chamber system. As it relates to the proximity to the airport, using a dry pond or underground facility were compared to reevaluate the suitability of this type of facility in this development context. Option B2 was determined to be the preliminary preferred option because it provides for a regional stormwater management facility that is in closer proximity to the Little River drain. It provides better consolidation of areas required for the stormwater management facility and is a more cost-effective alternative. So what does a wet pond of the preferred option look like in more detail? As shown in this cross-section, the wet pond would have a permanent pool of water, shown in purple. Sewer and overland inflow from the development come in, shown on the right. The active storage fills, which is the light blue part in the middle. The active storage is then emptied slowly at a low rate, pumped up and out into the drain or river. The pond itself is flanked by buffers that can include pathways and maintenance corridors. In addition to municipal servicing, provisions for existing and new natural features will be incorporated into the development strategy for the Sandwich South area. Proposed natural features will be incorporated into the stormwater management corridors to protect, preserve, and where appropriate, enhance the environment. The proposed stormwater management ponds have been placed to maintain a minimum 30 meter tree buffer between the facilities and the existing Little River drain and the provincially significant wetlands areas. Natural features and natural plantings will be incorporated into stormwater management pond designs to deter waterfowl as a safety measure in the vicinity of the airport. Incorporating stormwater management facilities into the proposed servicing plan requires monitoring and maintenance programs to mitigate risks from waterfowl. Lozon Parkway ponds are within the zone of monitoring. Features that attract birds within two kilometers and a four kilometer radius from airport lands are monitored. Birds are removed if they present danger to the airport. The stormwater management pond designs and waterfowl adaptive management plan considers principles of wildlife management. Stormwater management pond design elements incorporate several habitat modifications to create spaces that are unappealing to waterfowl. These elements fall under two categories, engineering and landscaping. The features integrated in the engineered design of the pond includes long linear ponds with narrow permanent pool depth, deep permanent pools with steep side slopes, and meandering the ponds and creating regular site barriers along the lengths of the ponds. The landscape elements that will be implemented include heavily vegetate the banks of the pond, utilize woody vegetation, and specify plant species that are unattractive and not a source of food. While providing stormwater outlets for future development, measures to mitigate impacts and integrate this improvement into the coordinated servicing strategy for Sandwich South are being considered. Construction and maintenance. Large stormwater management features will be constructed using common heavy construction techniques where considerations for the mitigation of direct impacts on the environment will be recommended. This includes implementing sediment and erosion control, controlling dust, and complying with the city's noise bylaws. Prior to construction, effective property owners will be notified as it relates to timing of works and necessary road detours. Maintenance of the pond is a key component to ensuring that the ponds provide quality and quantity control over the life cycle of the facility. The proposed ponds and pump stations will need to be integrated into the city's asset management plans. As discussed previously in this presentation, 
waterfowl mitigation, and natural environment features are also integral in the function of his comprehensive plan. Property impacts. The city will need to acquire lands to accommodate the proposed stormwater management corridors as these facilities will be a shared regional facility. As part of the property acquisition and negotiations with property owners, the city will initiate independent land appraisals to assess market values of private property. Affected landowners will be notified and provided regular updates as development commences in this area. A Stage 1 archaeological assessment was completed for the Sandwich South area. Through that study, the need to proceed with Stage 2 archaeological site assessments prior to construction was identified. Pending findings of those assessments, additional Stage 3 or 4 assessments may be required. First Nations communities are to be engaged throughout this process. If archaeological resources are uncovered, appropriate agencies must be notified and consulted on next steps. In addition to archaeological considerations, precautions are to be in place to mitigate impacts to existing natural features, such as minimizing tree removal and replacing any trees removed, protecting provincially significant wetlands or natural heritage designated areas, prohibiting construction during spawning and nesting seasons, the development of mitigation plans to protect terrestrial and aquatic habitat, and obtaining necessary regulatory permits. The completion and adoption of this plan will allow the stormwater management ponds and pump stations within the first development areas to proceed including the facilities that have been presented. The following projects are included in the city's current capital budget. The Lozon Parkway, County Road 42 intersection improvements, the Drainage Act report for the 7th concession drain realignment to divert drainage to mitigate flood risk for the developable area, which is ongoing, and 7th and 9th concession road improvements. Upon completion of this master servicing plan, which is subject to council approval and public review, the city can proceed with implementation of stormwater management ponds, trunk storm sewers, outlets to the respective municipal drainage outlets, and stormwater pump stations. These are Schedule B projects. The study will confirm land acquisition requirements as well as estimated costs for the Schedule B projects, which are the stormwater management ponds and pump stations. Property acquisition negotiations will be initiated by the city once this study is complete and adopted. Note that the Lozon Parkway and County Road 42 improvements were approved as part of the 2014 Environmental Assessment and therefore no further study is required prior to proceeding with detailed design and construction of the components included under that Environmental Assessment. Please visit the project website at www.sandwichsouth.ca to view the materials presented and other information. We want to hear your thoughts. What do you like about these stormwater management options? What do you not like? What is missing? Please use the link provided or scan the QR code to access our survey and to provide your feedback. Any questions or comments, please contact sandwichsouth at dylan.ca. The Sandwich South Master Servicing Plan project is still ongoing. This summer, the preferred solutions from this presentation and those presented previously will be finalized. The questions and comments from this round of consultation will be reviewed and integrated into this design. In addition, the estimated costs will be determined for shared infrastructure to feed into future development charge studies. The functional design and final recommendations of this study will be consistent with the Upper Little River Watershed Master Drainage Plan and the Little River Regulatory Floodplain Mapping Studies 
that are scheduled to be completed in advance of the completion of this study. A staging plan that outlines the first projects required to be implemented will be finalized and the Schedule B projects will be summarized. The final reporting will be wrapped up in Fall 2022, at which time the final recommendations will be presented to Council. A 30-day review period will follow the Council presentation according to the Municipal Class EA Current Part 2 Order Process.